Hello party people. I have not left the house in two and a half weeks. So I'm a little nervous right now, but I'm going to head to the grocery store. We need some essentials. It's about time. We, I, I mean, you guys know how it is. But also let me know how often you've been leaving the house because I truly am curious. Every time I talk to someone who has just been out, I'm like, how is the outside world? Tell me what it's like. So I, I have a lot of mixed emotions about leaving the house right now, but we're gonna head out. I'm gonna go to Costco. Hopefully they have everything that uh, I need. Um, if not, I'm gonna run to maybe Target just to pick up the smaller items. I don't wanna go to a lot of places if I don't have to. I, I know that I don't have anything to spread, but I also don't want to be contaminated. Do you know what I mean? I've, wa I've watched a lot of videos about like how to stay preserved. So let's just head out. I have to make sure that I have my wallet. Got my wallet. I'm also leaving the baby. So I'm like hyper nervous about that as well. Okay, so let's go. Sunlight. I'm just kidding. I've been outside a lot, but not in my car. I haven't left the house. I did clean my car out. Oh, it feels so clean. I'm at a stoplight. First observation, there are so many people on the road. Bye. Okay, I just got here. It is packed. Why is everyone out? There's a line just to shop. on this stuff and the line went fast they're wiping down the cards still trying to push product oh they're no they're stopping people from skipping line so there's the line right now not so shabby don't touch your face Kim don't touch your face 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 I'm gonna touch my face they have a ton of potatoes and onions I'm trying to only touch what I'm going to take you know most importantly the cakes are stocked $13.99 looks like there's plenty of ground beef here and red meat in general it's like fully stocked here and they still have more to put out the chicken however is sparse they only have organic left and just this little section where they normally have this entire aisle filled with chicken Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Costco knows this. Uh, these are $13, around $13, $14 a package. Carnitas! We are entering the icebox and I have forgotten my sweater, but there are bigger problems. No eggs, completely out. They do have some boiled eggs over here. I do spy this pull apart cheese bread though, pain au fromage. That might get you excited for $10.99. They also have these egg thins with cauliflower, but what we haven't seen before are these Parmesan Folios cheese wraps. Interesting, for eight bucks. This is their water supply, which is normally 700 times larger than this. And where the paper products, toilet paper, paper towels usually are, they have Coke, Sprite, and what else? What else? some more beverages <laughs> some sponges they have napkins right there wait is that marathon toilet paper i see nope cups i did see some people coming out of here with toilet paper so i know it existed and i'm getting around touching my face by touching the outside of my shirt hold on someone's behind me wanted to get out of their way touching the outside of my shirt and then bringing it up if i have an itch on my nose or something i mean Hopefully I'm fine. <laughs> There's also plenty of detergent left over. Still a wide variety of butter as well, fully stocked. The bread aisle still looks pretty hearty as well. They're out of some things, but also a plenty of variety. Their Easter candy is looking a little sparse. Essentials. They still have plenty of freezer chicken, or chicken, frozen chicken, <laughs> whatever. They still have a, a, an abundance left. By the way, I think it goes without saying, but there are zero samples. 
Much to my surprise, they have flour. Not only the huge packs, by the way, this is 25 pounds of flour for $7.89. They also have bread flour over here. They are limiting our purchases. So one total unit, flour and or sugar. But they also have a couple of these left over. It's two 10 pound bags for $9.49. They have a lot of powdered sugar, brown. Oh, I do need brown sugar. Oh, good thing. Oh wait, am I allowed to buy one of each, right? And or, and then also behind me, they have sugar, 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 sugar. Lots of it. They also have a bunch of oil on the shelves for us. And for the first time ever, of course they have crusties, buttermilk, pancakes. It's the only other pancake mix I've ever seen here other than uh, over there, the Kodiak cakes. And then this paleo pancake mix. You guys know my feelings about of that. I've been waiting to get this one. I'm thinking, wow, should I buy it? But I just bought a huge thing, well not just, a couple weeks ago of Bisquick. Man. I think zucchini is the new cauliflower. I have never seen this before. A zucchini pizza kit. I don't want to touch it, but it's gluten free. And it looks great. 10 bucks. And this about does it when you're looking for canned beans. They still have a lot of the powdered peanut butter and then that nut so, but I don't see any other peanut butter. Oh wait, Costco has their brand of natural peanut butter and obviously Nutella, always a winner. Crowd pleaser, uh, but I don't see Jif. No Jif on the shelves. They have almond butter. Ooh, I might get some, it's delicious. Also, hold on, there's someone coming. Okay, they have plenty of diapers still. I'm not sure if I saw wipes anywhere. Let me see if I could find some. Mm, I don't see any wipes. And I don't know what was going on when I first got here, but now there is like zero line for everything. I think this is the toilet with the bidet. Yes, I hope these become popular. We used to have a bidet, $320 that thing is. So it wasn't as busy as I thought it would be in there. I don't know why they had a line outside the building when I first got here. I think maybe it was because they were cleaning off the carts and people were waiting for clean carts. Um, other than that, they actually had a lot more than they than I thought that they would. Still no toilet paper, but I'm stocked. We got 20 rolls before this thing happened and we don't go through as much toilet paper as I thought we did, so we're totally fine. Okay, we're now home. I trekked everything inside. It's a pretty large haul. I spent $450 because I don't wanna go back out for at least two more weeks. Who knows until we're like safely allowed, like permitted to go outside again. I don't know. But two things I forgot to tell you, they did not take my receipt physically and look through it. You know, when you like leave Costco, they typically do that. And walking around the store, it's like, there's like an eerie feel. There's a sense of panic, I guess, in the air. It's definitely different. I would say 75% of people were wearing masks or some kind of scarf to cover their faces. Um, so obviously that's different. It goes without saying, but I sanitized everything when I got in my car. I sanitized my phone, my hands, up to my elbows. <laughs> I even sprayed it on my clothes. And following instruction of someone in the government, I forgot who, Alex showed me a video this morning. They said that the virus does not live in temperatures over 135 degrees. And it's basically 135 degrees in Florida, so I think we're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so they said to put a blow dryer on your face, like pointing it toward your nose because that's where the virus lives in your nose and stuff. So, oh, by the way, I actually did a really good job of not touching my face. I'm very proud of myself. It was a conscious decision for me to not touch my face. I thought it was gonna be really hard, but it wasn't. Okay, let me get into the haul. Oh, by the way, I don't know if the blow dryer thing is a joke or not. I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm taking all the precautions I can. Okay. So let's get into this haul. I will also shower because I have heard the virus can live in your hair. So I don't want anyone touching me. Okay, bananas. I got two bundles of bananas. We've already cracked into one because they're that delicious. Cucumbers, oh, how I've lived without you for so long. I don't know, my kids love to eat these with just ranch dressing or dip them in hummus. I love them on my salads. I plan to be making a lot of those because I also got some romaine lettuce. Oh, how I've missed thee. I eat like 
one romaine heart a day and I should have got two but I, I I don't want them to go bad and finding space in my fridge is gonna be hard okay avocados this is typically something that I don't buy and these are really hard so they won't be ready for a while but my kids love avocado milkshakes what do you guys do with your avocados I know they're pretty trendy lately when Alex's grandfather's avocado tree is in season we he eats them like crazy I'm not a fan of avocado I don't like it I don't like the texture I don't like the smell I don't like the taste it's a pretty mild taste though I'd eat it if I had to but I don't have to because look at all this other food. I <laughs> Thankfully, I have. Uh, I also got some mini oranges, mandarin oranges, easy to peel. And then I got a lot of potatoes. Uh, this is like our big starch. Oh my gosh, no rice. I didn't buy rice. Ah, well. I did get a lot of potatoes, plenty of them. I got the baby bite-sized creamy ones. I got two pineapples right here for like the past week we've only had frozen fruits so my kids keep asking we did have strawberries and blueberries i will say that but we ran out a day or two ago my kids keep asking can i have apples can i have this can i have pineapple strawberry i'm like we don't have it so needless to say this haul is much needed i got strawberries pineapple for them um i did not get apples at costco because they don't sell the one green apples it's so weird i don't know why i did get some brussels sprouts i love brussels sprouts and we're out of those as well we're basically out of everything and then i got this huge um bag of potatoes it's enormous last time i bought this large bag i did a freezer meal mashed potatoes with it and i put them in my freezer we have been eating that delicious but sometimes i want potatoes a different way <laughs> you know what i mean uh we also got a large bag of onions we probably go through one onion a day with dinner i love onions and then flour oh my gosh that's another thing when i was shopping around not a lot of people obviously we were practicing social distancing uh the aisles are huge though and i did talk to an older couple about flour we were both like so excited to just see flour we were surprised they had it in stock so i talked to them about flour of all things for a while while keeping distance of course uh but i got the 25 pounder and i keep it in my freezer at the bottom of my freezer i wrap it in a garbage bag and i actually ran out of flour yes i did so it is much needed so i'm very thankful that they had some I also got some green beans. I got two bags of green beans. This is always a family favorite. I just cook mine up. Sometimes I make them Southern style, which is hard to explain. Maybe I'll share with you. It's not that hard to explain. It's just lengthy. You basically cook them. I'm gonna, here I go anyway. <laughs> you cook them in chicken broth or chicken stock, probably broth. Add some bacon. Oh my gosh, that's what makes it Southern and delicious. Bacon and onions. They are so good. They're soft though. They're on the soft side. If you like them uh, harder, put them in the oven and roast them. I love roasted veggies among other things. Okay, also grabbed a box of Ritz. They did not have a lot of these left. Ritz aren't our favorite, but I've been meal planning. Oh my gosh, who am I? And I need a couple sleeves of Ritz crackers. So I figured I would just pick some up and my kids for lunches have been enjoying like kind of a like charcuterie board if you will i just kind of put out crackers and some cheeses some fruit i didn't buy grapes because at costco they did not have green grapes again what my kids like anyway so i figured my kids have been going through these more than usual so i'm excited they had them also oh my gosh who am i haven't bought these in a long time granola bars actually i have we have some in the garage <gasps> probably like half a box left because i put them up high so my kids would stop eating 17 at a time and um they are the chewy brand quaker oat brand whatever but i went with kirkland brand this time that's what i saw and picked up i i was like in the store and out as fast as i could also got some pirate booties i actually went ham on the snacks because as you can see, oh my gosh, snacks are life right now. <laughs> they will last us a while. I also got some cheese. We're almost out of our cheese. And my kids surprisingly like cheese way more than I thought. I mean, I guess it's not that surprising who doesn't like cheese. But for years, I just bought it minimally and I've been depriving them. Speaking of cheese, oh, bye pirate booty. Man overboard. Get it? Because he's a pirate. Okay. Uh, snacking cheese. My husband loves this stuff. It's little balls of mozzarella. Each pack is like 70 calories and it comes with three little balls right there. So I did it for him. I got it. Make him happy. I also saw this. Guys, I know Easter comes before uh, Cinco de Mayo. 
but that doesn't mean we can't enjoy some carnitas. Oh, I didn't get corn tortillas. I'm not even sure they sell them at Costco, but this stuff is so good. I remember buying it last year because they don't have it year round. Delicious. I Oh, some more potatoes, <laughs> baby potatoes. They're my favorite. I love roasting these. Also make mashed potatoes out of these as well, but obviously I don't need to do that right now. Okay, where was I? This stuff. Okay, Instagram made me do it because I saw see people talk about this all the time. Oh my gosh, it's the best tomato sauce ever, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I make some pretty good tomato sauce, so I don't know if it's better than mine. If I try it before I post this, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated, you know what I mean, if you continue to watch me, <laughs> watch my videos. It is quite expensive for tomato sauce, but I hear it's the best. And recently, um, someone I follow was like, it really is the best, so... We'll see, we'll see. You know what is the best? These heavenly hunk chunks. Heavenly chunks of hunk, whatever they're called. Organic oatmeal, dark chocolate, gluten-free cookies. They're also free of some other stuff too, I think. Are they? No. Oh, they're vegan. Yes, they're free of dairy. Okay, so good stuff in here. If you like oatmeal cookie dough, Oh my, you're gonna fall in love with these. All my kids love them, they eat them. It's something that I'm gonna have to hide. It'd be like much too good for children moment because they are that delicious. And the price of this huge bag at Costco, oh my gosh, you can't beat it. It's like six plus dollars for this. And at TJ Maxx, not that they're open right now, but they sell a bag a quarter of this size for like four bucks. Okay, feta cheese crumbles, another thing, uh, guys, Greek foods are my favorite. I'm not very good at making them, but I do love myself some feta cheese, katamata olives, cucumbers, that trio, hummus. Put it on a salad, even the hummus without, like I, Olive Garden dressing is my go-to, but hummus is my new like dressing. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Try it out, okay? And tell me how much you love it. I got these for Easter. Trying to fill some eggs, trying to fill some baskets, trying to not go to 700 stores and buy my kids as much for Easter as I do for Christmas kind of thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got these. They're already bunny shaped, you know, and who doesn't love a good fruit snack? They also had Welch's, which was a better deal. You get like twice as many uh, little pouches for I think less money, but these gummies are so good. <laughs> I can't remember last time I had Welch's, but I can tell you that Annie's gummies are top quality. Grade A, also got some brown sugar over there. I am almost out of that and I don't wanna run out, so I got some. Uh, tortillas, oh my gosh, every single night for dinner, my husband asks for chimmy stinking changas. And I'm like, dude, I'm out of tortillas because I made all those breakfast burritos. I'm like, how about breakfast burritos for dinner? <laughs> I didn't buy wheat tortillas, which is what I enjoy. Anyway, so I got these tortillas so everyone can, sorry, I'm not even showing you. I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm like inching my way. But I got some tortillas for eventual chimichangas to happen in our kitchen. Okay, Reese's eggs. Do we need 60 pieces of these? And my answer to that is yes. If you guys saw my cleaning video the other day, you guys know I keep these in my freezer like away from my kids because that's how I do. They will get some in their Easter baskets if the Easter Bunny comes. Is is that a thing? Is the Easter Bunny practicing like social distancing and self-isolation and all of that stuff too? Uh, anyway, I'm obsessed with these. My husband is obsessed with these. I mean, who isn't obsessed with them? They're Reese's eggs. You tell me below, are you a Reese's fan or uh, what are those like marshmallow sugar thing? Peeps. Oh my God, don't even talk to me about peeps. My kids love them, of course, because it's like sugar on top of sugar. Who wouldn't love it? Well, I wouldn't love it. I don't. Anyway, moving on. Reese's, A. oh my, my mouth is drooling. I wanna open them right stinking now. Oh my gosh, my kids ran out of gummies. Yes, they had vitamin C gummies in stock at Costco. Can you believe it? They're out of stock online. They're out of stock on Amazon. They had enough. And I almost bought more, but then I thought, God, I don't wanna like, you know, be that person. So I just got one. This will last us a while until the stock replenishes again. Hopefully the stock replenishes again, right? Isn't that the hope? So I just bought one package of these and I'm so happy. I've never been so happy to get vitamin C back in my life. They also say, I mean, we take these regularly and I swear on vitamin C, our kids rarely get sick. Honestly, I can't remember the last time our kids were sick. 
It's a tip that my sister-in-law taught me uh, about a year ago. She's a school teacher and she said she rarely gets sick because she takes vitamin C on the regular. And that's what they're saying about this virus, like keep your imu immune system up. They're also saying take vitamin C and zinc. I don't know if there's any zinc in this, but this is what we give our kids, the combo. Uh, there is some zinc, that's great, but only 15%. Better than nothing, and then the last part of their trio, their vitamin trio, is fiber well. Uh, it just keeps a good, healthy digestive system, support, all that good stuff, so there's that. What else do we have? Pecans! You guys know I ran out of these. Um, I made my Pope's bread. I was so sad to learn that I didn't have any, so I picked some up. Uh, the nut selection was in abundance at Costco. I also got some bread, not the bread we typically buy, but hello, bread nonetheless. Happy to see it, happy to have it back in our lives. Peanut butter Sammies. I almost got almond butter, I didn't. Mostly because I, <laughs> I don't really know. I love almond butter and I should have just bought it for myself, but I talked myself out of it. I got um, a lifetime supply of ranch dressing over here. What in the world is this? Homestyle Valley Ranch. I've been making some uh, meals. Oh, like I told you, I meal planned. I forgot my list. <laughs> but I did remember that I needed some ranch dressing for some of the dinners, so I bought enough forever. And my kids love to dip carrots in this and really any vegetable and drench any vegetable in ranch dressing and my kids will eat it. Uh, pepperoni. Uh, this goes on there like, you know, the board with crackers and cheese. What did I call that board? What is it called? Char chartreuterie? I feel like I said it right the first time. Chartreuterie? That's not how you say it. I'm so embarrassed, but words are hard. I got some pretzels over there, some hippies. Love these. I love these so much. And then, guilty pleasure, got some nice salty potato chips. Oh, this is a treat. I can't wait to dive into those. At least I didn't buy, gosh, what's that like Dorito trio? It's like Doritos, Sun Chips, and Cheetos. Oh, crap, I forgot what they're called. Munchies. That's like my favorite high school snack. <laughs> my favorite snack from high school. You know what else is a favorite snack of mine from high school? Chips and mustard. Oh my gosh, raise your hand if you've ever had those. So good, I haven't had it in years. It's kind of like an embarrassing snack, but I'm not embarrassed any longer because it is that delicious. I'm not embarrassed of anything, really. I think becoming a mom does that to you. <laughs> you don't really care anymore. I got a bunch of butter. Uh, we have a few sticks left, but again, I don't wanna leave the house. I don't wanna go anywhere for a while, as long as I can. Next time I leave the house will probably be just to replenish the fruits and stuff. Um, okay, and then I need contact solution. I gotta tell you, I've rarely been wearing my contacts, but wearing my glasses so much has like given me a rash on my nose. It's crazy and weird, probably because I sweat so much, so my glasses like aggravate the skin on my nose from sliding up and down. It's a problem. Uh, and also, I'm allergic to my contacts, so either way, I'm like punching my own face. <laughs> I've had bad eyes literally my entire life. I've had eye surgery when I was like a year and a half old. Anyway, I needed some of this crap. It's the best um, contact solution ever. It has like peroxide in it, so it really deep cleans. I love it, I've been using it for years. If you have sensitive eyes, I highly recommend. I also got these off of one of your recommendations because I asked in a shop with me video, like, hey, do these really work? Because they claim to be like a uh, no slip. Oh crap, are these a no slip? Yeah, they have a little grip on the heel. So one of you said they actually are no slip. Um, I don't wear these to work out in, but I do have some shoes that I wear that I don't want to wear without socks, do you know what I mean? But they show more of my, anyway, you guys get what I mean, so I bought some of that crap. And then I also, uh, this is not the end, we still have, we still have more, okay, almost, almost the end, hang on tight, hang tight. I got some pork tenderloin, it's been a while since I got this, I almost, you guys know I've been doing really well on my uh, Sunday roast, until this thing happened and I ran out of my last roast. <laughs> of course I did. So I thought, well, in lieu of red meat, we'll do the pork tenderloin and four come in this for $10. And the roasts, obviously it's red meat, it's a bit more expensive. It's like $20 and it would have lasted me maybe three times. Um, and it's really, it's more than $20. It was more toward $25. And this was half the price and I get four in here. So I thought that was a deal. This is the first time I saw, whoa! 
chips everywhere. I'm gonna crack them all, crush them all. Okay, so the first time I saw these, these snack on the run tuna salad kits. I mean, we're not on the go or on the run, but for a quick, easy snack, it just comes with crackers. And yes, I could make tuna fish on my own, but it never comes out as good as it does in these tuna salad kits, so good. I can make really good chicken salad. Oh my gosh, can I tell you one of my secrets if you've lasted this long to make chicken salad? If you get bacon bacon seasoning, some like, uh, I'll try to link it below who sells, it's just called bacon bacon. And it's, I don't know what it is, it's magic. It's probably just pure bacon, <laughs> which isn't to love. Uh, but maybe if you get like sprinkled, uh, you know, already cooked bacon and then ranch dressing with shredded chicken or canned chicken, Oh my gosh, blow your socks off, it's gonna be so good. My aunt used to make it and whenever I would visit her, I'd be like, what is this? So there's that. I also got some oil. Guys, we were like out of everything. This pandemic happened at a time where I needed to stock up on everything, but I didn't wanna do it right away because I didn't wanna be like that person. So I think uh, it's my time now to like stock back up on the things that I need. So oil, it's one of those things. Uh, like I said, I stocked up months ago before I had Meredith and she's four months old. So it's been a while since I needed to, some of this stuff. So um, baked beans, I did find some beans, but this is the only uh, box of beans that they had left. I mean, they had a few of these left, but I couldn't find black beans or corn or green beans. I think we did see green beans, but they're in like the industrial size can. Okay, um, I got some OxyClean because I am out of this as well. I throw it in my laundry, uh, just my clothes. I don't throw it in anything else, towels or anything. I just throw it in my clothes and does it work? I don't know, stain remover, uh, but I do it because why not kind of thing, like might as well. I don't think it hurts. It definitely doesn't hurt. And then I have really been loving this. First of all, they were out of fresh chicken at my Costco, uh, which is fine. We still have a little bit left from what I bought, but I am surprised at how much I've been loving the frozen chicken breasts. They come and I, I don't know why I love them so much. You know what I miss though? Chicken thighs, that's what I miss. Nice dark meat, delicious, tender and juicy. But I have been really enjoying these. Uh, yeah, and a lot comes in this bag. I don't know how many pounds, let me see. Six and a half pounds for, I think it was around $16. So that's not bad. Oh my gosh, that is everything that I got from Costco. What? Um, I still need a couple of items, so I'm going to try to order them online and then do like a pickup at Target or something because I accidentally did an online order at Target and I thought it was like a uh, ship to me, but it ended up being like a pickup order. So anyway, there's that. I need like little things that I don't know if they'll have at Target. and. Am I making any sense? Probably not. It's time for dinner. I need to make dinner. I also need to do more things. So many kids, so little time. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We've started virtual school already. Have you guys virtual school? Um, so our kids schedule runs like a normal day, eight to three. It's been interesting so far. So maybe I'll share that with you in a vlog. It's actually gone a lot smoother than I thought it would. I thought they would need our help a lot more, but we, we need to be available to them basically all day. I mean, we would be anyway. What am I talking about, Kim? Come on, just end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed seeing my uh, work here, everything that we've gotten, everything that we will eat in the next couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, okay, bye. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Maybe put a little crazy in your day. Bye.